Oz W from Hadler Fitness. <laughs>
All right, so you can do this with added weight as well if you're a little bit more advanced, but if you're just, um, just building up to it and you really want, just want to focus on that mind and muscle connection, just work on getting some volume and getting in and getting it done. I really suggest doing this and um, some bent over rows, not all the way bent over, more so towards like a, like, so say that's upright, more of like a 30, maximum 45 degrees. I'd say more so around that 30 to 35 degree bend. And you can have a pronator or supinated hand grip on your bent over rows with a lot of weight. You can go a little bit heavy if you want and really focus on that squeeze and hit that, hit that lower trapezius. Obviously with desk posture, man, you're like this, you're gonna be very, very overdeveloped. You're gonna have very tonic, a very tonic chest and very overdeveloped shoulders and like just upper back muscles. I don't really need to go through the anatomy of it. Um, so the way you can correct that is the bent over rows to build up that lower portion of your um, scapula and Obviously those pull-ups, man, these pull-ups are absolutely badass. You'll feel a good pump there as well. Obviously you can't see it because it's behind you, it's postural muscles, um, sorry, posterior muscles. And um, it's gonna help with your overall development, posture, um, like heaps, heaps, heaps of other things. Anyway, so integrate this in your training and uh, man, you're gonna have loads of fun. Thanks for watching guys. Um, as I said with your training, um, make sure you're applying progressive overload, you're um, tracking your volume and intensity targets. So those three pillars, frequency, volume, and intensity, I say this all the time. Um, integrate those sternum pull-ups are bent over rows with the under grip, neutral, or over grip. So pronated, neutral, supinated hand grips into your training cycles and really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together. I know um, like I keep repeating myself, but it's one thing to have um, good back development, but having like really, really over an overdeveloped back, like, just, like especially that upper, um, like the upper portion of the back, the rhomboids and upper traps. Most people have really bad um, kyphosis, like a kyphotic curve in their back. You can see it most, like a lot of people look like Notre Dame, like it's not good. And it can actually lead to a lot of health problems down the track. But anyway, I don't, I don't need to get into all that kind of stuff. Um, as always, make sure you like and, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next vid.